Hello everyone, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to teach you how to replace or uh, repair the USB port on a Garmin Nuvi 2597 LMT GPS. Uh, the USB port going bad is a very common problem on these units and what happens is that when you plug it in and out the, you, you have to wiggle the cable in order to get power or sometimes it powers fine but every time you try to connect it to your computer it doesn't connect so let's open it and repair it hopefully it's repairable with a soldering iron if not then we have to change the port let's get started the first thing we have to do is open these four screws as you can see there are four screws let me zoom there uh, four screws and they are star shaped screws that require let me see T5 uh, screwdriver T5 star shaped so we open these make sure not to lose the screws because they are very hard to find these are not your average screws okay let's get a different angle so you can see better there are four screws that need to be taken out so there are my four screws be careful with them and now it's time to open this to open this you simply open it with your nails a lot I, my nails are not long if, but you kind of need to have long nails to open it easily but I'll give it a try Oops, I turned it on. Turn it off. There you go. When you open it, let me turn it off again. When you open it, be careful because this cable will break. See that cable? This will break. So be careful so it doesn't like pop out def suddenly. You have to do it like really slowly then put your if your nail is long put it like slide it over here slide it over here and then it comes open okay so now once we get to this point you have to slide this this way and flip the switch flip this tab this way to release the, the screen cable I'm going to zoom so you could see exactly what I mean let, let me see which which angle is good I believe this angle should be good Let's see. Nah, that camera doesn't give me good focus. Let's see. Maybe right there. So you zoom. I mean, you slide this like that. See, this slides like this. You slide it from the center because you will break it if you do it from one side. So now the screen has been disengaged. Now we have to unplug the battery as a matter of fact you should unplug the battery before you do this because it's always safe to have no power running into anything when you're working on it now this is also the same size screw inside okay same exact size screw so we will open this four screws so to get to the USB you need to open 8 screws, 4 exterior and 4 interior screws. This is the microphone, you have to lift it up, you don't have to desolder it, just lift it up. But this little plastic cover must stay on it because that's vibration protection for the mic. You cannot have the mic without that little cover. Let's zoom in. 
see that little cover right there around the mic? This is very important, that cover. So, this is what we are working on, but before we work on this, we have to de desolder the speaker. We don't want the speaker wires to break. To be on the safe side, put red on the positive side. The other one is black. Blue is positive, black is negative. The melting temperature on this is higher than normal because my soldering iron is set at 600 and this is having a hard time melting. So I'm going to increase my temperature on, on my soldering iron. Okay, so I set it at seven, 700. Now I shouldn't have any issue melting the solder. 700 is pretty hot. Pretty hot. And there it is, nice and easily came off. Now this is the one that we need to work on, this guy right here. And if you look, it is loose. So these right here are the ones that need to be soldered. The, uh, the soldering is loose and when you move this, they actually move. And that's what I'm going to resolder. okay, those right there. Uh, let's see which angle camera would suit me the best. I think this this angle is pretty much this angle is pretty good. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now, when you solder this, you have to use soldering paste, uh, any type of soldering paste, so that it doesn't develop solder bridges. I'm using uh, this guy right here. This is a nice paste, and let's see. Oh, you have to cut it. Hold on a second, I have to cut the top. It's sealed. Okay. Just a little bit, just like like a miniature toothpa toothpaste is what I would, would call it. Now, what we have to do is heat it up so all of them have nice and even uh, connection, okay? Heat it up nice and evenly. It looks very nice. It looks very fresh, very nice, no movement. And sometimes you have to add more solder. If, if you see there is not enough solder, you, you can add solder, but be careful. Adding solder is easy, but if you create solder bridge, solder bridge means jumping, shorting two pins with a solder, with a lump of solder. You don't want to do that. So that's called solder bridge, and you don't want to do that. So let me put just a little bit here. I'm going to put just a little bit here. And uh, yeah, just a little bit there and there because those are the anchors. And also if you look right here, this right here is also another anchor holding it. So I'm gonna put a little bit solder on that anchor so it doesn't move. It, so this is solid, okay? So let's put it back together and fire it up and see what happens. So this goes back in here as such. There are certain pins that need to enter that little little hole right here. So be careful, that needs to match right there. There's a little plastic pin that go, needs to go to that hole. And this must match the power switch, this. Now let's put the screws 
I haven't soldered the speaker yet. I'm gonna put the screw so the board doesn't move and it's solid. That's why. So I will do that later. Okay, now it's time to solder the wires for the speaker. Plus goes to plus, minus goes to minus, it's a no-brainer. Let me go from the top so you can see better. There's that. Now we will put back the little rubber around the condenser microphone. Don't forget that little rubber, okay? That rubber is vibration protection so the mic doesn't get the car vibration on it. And that's that. Uh, the screen, you have to be very careful. This is, I think this is the hardest is the screen. A lot of people break either that or they break that ribbon because Removal of the screen is the hardest. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in. Pay attention. This is the most critical part. Pay attention, please. See this? This flap is in the up position. You take the screen and you put it in put it in so it doesn't go in anymore like all the way in okay all the way it doesn't go in anymore then you close the flap in lock position see that there is barely uh, barely visible brown area everything is inside and when you when you're flipping this back in the lock position you have to do it with a parallel force not from one edge because you will break it so that pressure of folding it back should be evenly distributed throughout the surface area of this bar okay now it should work fine I, I'm I did it right so I know it will fire up and work fine let me show you that from a closer distance and now I'm gonna zoom out so we can fire up this and see if it works which it should work by the way okay I wouldn't normally I wouldn't snap it I would actually power it up make sure it's working uh, but uh, since I know the surgery was successful I'm snapping it close but normally I shouldn't so there it is working the port is working now I could wiggle it all I want and it's not cutting off power like it used to uh, because now it's working fine as simple as that okay so once that's done you can put back all the screws snap it closed tight from all around and then you can put back all the screws you have four screws to put back in Okay. Nice and neat. And voila. It's working great. Back in business. Alright, thank you for watching. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe.